So in this question, we're given a triangular pulse and we're asked a few questions about it. So which of the following is true about this triangular pulse? So first of all, is it a power signal? Now remember, power signals have infinite energy. They have finite power, but infinite energy. So the question is, does this triangular pulse have infinite energy? Now look at it. It's, it's zero for almost all time. It's only non-zero for one brief second. So this is the only second where it's non-zero. So if you were to calculate the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x squared of t dt, is that going to give you infinity? Definitely not. You can calculate that energy very easily. So it isn't a power signal because the energy isn't infinite. So we can eliminate that. Now, the next one is, is it a digital signal? Is it digital? Now, a digital signal has a finite number of levels. That could be two levels, it could be three levels, it could be a hundred levels, but it needs to be finite. So look at the vertical, vertical axis here. The signal is zero, and it takes all of these different values between zero and one over a. So that looks like an infinite number of values and therefore it isn't digital. So is it a random signal? Now a random signal is the opposite of a deterministic signal, and a deterministic signal is a signal that we can represent mathematically. Is there a mathematical expression that will represent this? It looks like it. We can probably represent it with some unit steps and unit ramps. So no, it isn't a random signal. So next, we need to determine how would we represent this signal mathematically. So it looks like it's, it's zero for a long time. And then suddenly, at t equals minus two, it starts increasing. So there's clearly a ramp happening at t equals minus two. So it's a delayed ramp, or uh, actually it's a, it's a ramp that happens before t equals zero, so it's the opposite of delayed. So it's a ramp that happens at t equals minus two. And we can check. We can check if that's correct, because this has to be zero. So if you say t plus two equals zero, so t equals minus two, and minus 2 is exactly the time when the ramp starts happening. So R of t plus 2 describes this ramp here. Or does it? You see, R of t, t plus 2 will have a slope of 1, a gradient of 1. But the gradient here, although it looks like it's 1, it isn't necessarily 1 because you have a rise of 1 over a, a change in amplitude from 0 to 1 over a in a period of 1 second. So the gradient, or the slope, is 1 over a divided by one second. So if we simply use the unit ramp, that will have a slope of one. So I would need a ramp scaled by this gradient. So this gradient is the scaling factor for our ramp. So this accurately describes this bit. Now, what happens at t equals minus 1? At the moment, nothing happens. The ramp just continues to go up and up forever. So how do we stop the ramp from increasing? What we need to do is 
subtract something. We need to stop this ramp from doing that. So we need to subtract something. So something needs to be taken away from our ramp, and that needs to happen at t equals minus 1. So what is it that I'm describing? What have I just drawn here? What does that look like? Well, that, to me, looks like another unit ramp. That just looks like a unit ramp. Or maybe even not even a unit ramp. It looks like a ramp with the same scaling factor as the initial ramp. So it looks like 1 over a r of t plus 1. That's what it looks like. So that's what I'll be subtracting. I'll be subtracting 1 over a r of t plus 1. So what will that do? That'll bring my amplitude down from up here where I don't want it to here. But I still don't want it here. I want the amplitude to come down all the way to here. So I still need to subtract something further. What is it I'm now describing? What have I just drawn? What is, what is it I've just drawn? I've just drawn something that is zero for a long period of time and then suddenly is non-zero. It's suddenly 1 over a. So it's as if I'm now subtracting a, a, a step, not a unit step, but a scaled unit step. So it's a step with amplitude 1 over a. And it starts at t equals minus 1. So t plus 1. So that's, that's what I'm, um, what I'm um, subtracting. So that is what I will put right there. So there's a minus sign there. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so what have I got? I've got a unit ramp that instead of continuing, we have something subtracted from it, then something else subtracted from it, so that it goes up, down, and then continues for infinity. So that basically describes my function. So this is the mathematical expression to describe this signal, x of t. And we find that if you take 1 over a constant, um, you end up with, let me just make that clear, you end up with this answer here. So it's possible to describe signals like this, where it's a brief pulse, in this case a triangular pulse, using unit ramps and unit steps. So I hope, I hope that's clear.